All right, welcome back to GMA3. The 96th Academy Awards is just weeks away. Boy, time flies, that is hard right? To believe, yes. Huh? So to get ready for this year's ceremony, we are featuring conversations with some of the biggest nominees on our road to the Oscars. And today we are talking with Billie Eilish and her brother Phineas. ABC News contributor Kelly L. Carter sat down with them recently to discuss their best original song nomination and how they approach the creative process. Mm -hmm. I used to float. Now I just fall down. Well, here's a challenge for you both. Write a song for a film about a doll that a lot of us had growing up, but give it something more than what we might expect. Let's not make it whimsical or, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's like, where did you start with that? Yeah, no, for sure. While you were saying that question, I was like thinking about how you know, if we hadn't been shown the movie and talked to Greta about it, like we would not have made that song. We wouldn't have known the movie had that gut-wrenching aspect to it. Because, you know, when I first heard of it, I was like, oh, a Barbie movie, you know? I think that, you know, watching it and seeing what it was about and, you know, I, that, God, that scene of, of, of Barbie and sit, sitting at the bus stop and there's that old woman sitting, sitting next to her and that scene just, like, really got me and it made me like, oh, this is so much more than we all think. But I the creativity process different when you're creating for a film in particular than when you're just creating for an album? Something about us <laughs> is that we we love a prompt. When we are given an assignment and a challenge, it is it is truly where we thrive. We'll sit down and write a song and it's if it's not coming out perfectly, I think sometimes we go like, okay, you know, what's a what's some character ca character we can be like, what, let's make up something and then not have to worry about ourselves and we can write from another character's perspective. Okay, you know, for Bond, we, you know, that was never gonna happen in a million years, but when we were younger, we would pretend to write a Bond theme song as like a fun, extra, like the songwriting exercise. And we were like, well, what would we do if we had to do that? Where did you put that first Oscar? <laughs> Where is it living Where's right yours, Phineas? I got it on a shelf. Yeah, very surreal. Not a thing I thought I'd ever have in my home. Never, um, ever. I never thought I'd even see one. That's like a crazy <laughs> thing. The whole night, because, you know, you, you, you win it, and then that's your Oscar. At award shows, sometimes, like, they give you an award, and it's kind of like a t fake one, and then they send you the real one, like, months later. Yeah, you don't get a Grammy the Grammys until, like, take, like, six later. months. It takes so long, but it's great. But with the Oscars, they give you that award right then, mm -hmm. and it's you are holding it the whole they entire night. The they go party. engrave it. And it's also, like, a million pounds. It's really, nice really and heavy. heavy. Yeah. And so I was walking around the after party, like, swinging it around and making everybody hold it. Getting these type of accolades, does this change the ambition for you at all? Does it make mm. you say, I didn't know when we were making up Bond theme songs when we were kids, we would actually win an Oscar for that. So now let's do something we also didn't think was possible. Like, what does that do for you guys? Yeah, I suppose it probably doesn't help us manage our expectations, does it? No. Nope. Probably <laughs> makes us feel like, nope. we should try anything. <laughs> um, we never set out to make anything for the accolade. We're trying to make it to do the best job we can do. Yep. And if any, if, the, if we're worrying about anybody's opinion, it's the audience's opinion. We're worrying about the people that are going to buy a ticket to see the show. And everything else is like, again, a huge honor and very humbling. And, um, you know, we feel so lucky. But yeah. I think as long as the audience is happy, we feel like we've done a good job. All right, our many thanks again to Billy and fitting us in the 96th Academy Awards airs March 10th at an all new earlier time, 7 p.m. Eastern time right here on ABC. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.